What is behind the limitations in the stores all of a sudden? And here's a quick thing for all of you people out there that are tuning in and watching this video. Comment below where you live, maybe just do your state. If you want to do your city, that's fine. I don't want to intrude on anybody's privacy or anything. But what is going on in your areas with limitations? Because in my area, here in Florida, Central Florida to be exact, limitations are starting to kick back in at all the different major retailers. You've got Costco's and Sam's are putting limitations out there. Walmart is a big one. Um, they have a lot of limitations if you are paying for your delivery service through Walmart. Or if you even want to just go on and do the curbside pickup, a lot of the stuff now says, well, guess what, folks? You can't get this for curbside pickup, and it's not available for delivery. But if you walk in the store, you can buy it. It's their way of controlling what is going out of the store and how. They want you to come into the store so you buy more, because I think they've realized a lot of people are ordering and doing the curbside or delivery services, and this is cutting out the prices as far as the amount of money that these companies are making because they're losing the foot traffic. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're going to do a quick video on these limitations that are going on. Once again, they're all coming back. It's like we're going back in time here, folks. And I don't know. Sometimes it just gets very aggravating. You know, only thing is, is they're saying that toilet paper isn't the number one thing that people are trying to put away. You'll be kind of interested to find out that it is probably water and maybe some vitamins and stuff. So what is the limitations in stores? What is behind all this? What is going on? Well, we do know that you know we're having issues getting goods in from other countries. Um, as I have stated that you know there's 41 ships that are actually setting off the port out in LA in the Pacific Ocean waiting to come in to be unloaded. That's a known fact. We're having issues with trucking companies. They don't have enough drivers. They can't move the goods that are coming into this country. Even the goods that are being made, they can't move them. Food prices, well, we all know they're up more than 5% compared to, and in 2008, when we had that whole huge mess go on. Canned goods are up more than 10% in just the last year. So, you know, it's really hitting a lot of people. There, we know there is a 10 shortage, which they put all the canned goods into all right they're having a huge problem of getting a lot of these products because a lot of this stuff comes from overseas which creates a lot of problems over here it's just a mess so you know uh something else that came out zinc zinc of all things a zinc supplements okay zinc supplements they 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 shot up like 105% in June and July of just this year. Once this whole emergency situation escalated, we'll use those words today. You know, sales of cold medicine have skyrocketed 15% in just the last week. All the sanitary stuff you know, your Lysol wipes and sprays and disinfectants and bleaches and all this kind of stuff. Those jumped 15% in just the last week. And now they're starting to put limitations on a lot of those said products. Sales of pre-cooked meals. People are freaking out evidently, folks, because those have rose 552% over the last few months come on 
is because people are seeing they can't get meat you know, shelves are empty, meat cases are empty. If you do find meat, it's costing an arm, a leg, and possibly even a foot because they're just out of this world. It's getting to the point where you can't even afford to buy chicken, right? I mean, come on. The limitations are starting to hit. The limitations are starting to really take effect. Most stores are limiting, you know, all different types of products and water and everything else. And the problem is, is they don't even have an ETA of when they're going to be able to get back to normal and fill the shelves completely full and take away from the limitations. I don't see it happening any time this year. I think if we're lucky, it could be maybe towards the middle to the end of next year before we get to that point. But I don't see anything happening, folks. And I think you need to be aware of this stuff. And I think you need to be start being prepared. If there's certain products and everything else that all of a sudden you're trying to prep more of to have on hand, you may want to try to start looking at other alternatives or if you can find these products being wherever, either in the stores, online, wherever it may be, you're buying what you can. You're probably going to pay more because of inflation and the prices have all gone up and they're just going to keep going up. There's no silver lining here where it's going to show that all of a sudden prices will start to drop some retailers are trying to hold on to certain prices on certain items and everything else it's only a matter of time before those items will increase also the limitations are here to stay it's their way of controlling exactly what it is that we can buy and what we can do and you have to really sit back and ask yourself, are we headed into another Great Depression era of being micromanaged by the government and being told exactly what we can buy, when we can buy it, what day we can buy it, and how much we can buy? So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope this is an enlightenment to a huge problem that is really coming around. The limitations are the beginning. There's more coming down the pike. Prepare now, folks. So I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe, keep prepping, thrive to survive. And until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.